<clears throat> Alrighty guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Um, today it is absolutely freezing outside, but I decided we can make a video anyway. So today I will be like reviewing the Luna and showing you why it is my favorite putter to throw. So I have a lot of baseline ones and then I have basically the first drawn Luna that they did. Then I have a prototype. This is almost like a jawbreaker plastic. Then I have the ESP from 2022, big Z Luna. Then this is a 2021 Luna. This is a tour series one. I think this is Z metallic plastic. And then I have, this is just regular Z plastic, special edition. Then I have a crystal Luna. And the last one is a 2020 Tour Series Luna. So I'll be throwing all of these on a couple different lines and different holes, showing you how they throw for just nice shots like this, where it's a little under 200 feet. And I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. All right, starting out with the 2020 Tour Series Luna. These ones are kind of more rare. Um, they're hard to find and get your hands on, but if you go onto eBay or maybe Facebook Marketplace, maybe you can find one. Um, these are normally pretty straight and then maybe a touch of stability at the end. Um, so basically I'm gonna throw it straight at the basket on a tad bit of Anheuser. See how it flies. Unfortunately, I threw it a little too high. The Big Z Luna is straight with a tad bit of fade, so I'm gonna aim it right up the basket. All right, you couldn't really see it land, but it landed right in front of the basket and it's pretty much parked. I think it's about 10 feet away. I got the Crystal Luna now. I'm gonna throw this one on a touch bit of Anheuser over to the left side of the basket and kind of have it drift over a little bit. It's the plan. It's really pretty. Ooh, that was a pretty good ace run, a little bit too low. But as you can see, I released on a little bit of Anheuser and it held it all the way to the basket. It didn't want to drop. It just kind of glided real well. Then for the Z Metallic, I'm gonna throw this one just flat, a little bit right up the basket. And we'll see if it can just fade a little bit towards the basket. I can't totally remember how these ones flew. Ooh, that is parked. That was a really nice shot. Um, threw it kind of straight at the basket and it just held the line true all the way. So I really liked how that shot um, went. It flew really nice, I liked it. All right, now we have the Z line, Luna. These ones are more overstable. This is the limited, this is the limited edition run. So I'm gonna throw it on maybe a touch bit of Anheuser um, right up the basket. Not too much, just like barely any, like flat to slight anhyzer. That was a nice shot. Um, it held the anhyzer all the way and I kind of went right of the basket. I released it left, but it kind of just drifted over and then landed right beside the basket. And then last for the premium plastic, I have the ESP Luna. This is the last year's version of the Tour Series. This is the 2022 Tour Series Luna. I threw the ESP one a good bit last year. Um, I enjoyed throwing it. The ESP is pretty neat. I will say my favorite run is still the 2020 version, but the ESP is still fun to throw and it's always so pretty. This one's really dirty because I lost it the other day in the woods and it got like all dirty and I just haven't washed it for some reason. So gonna throw this one um, pretty much just flat, straight at the basket.
Oh no. I released that one at a really bad angle. All right. All right, now we have the baseline Lunas. Normally I only use the baseline Lunas for putting, but sometimes I'll use them for throwing, maybe on like a turnover shot, but they are a good bit more on the understable side. So normally I just use them for putting, but on this shot, I will show you basically how I throw them if I were to throw a baseline Luna. Normally I aim them left of the basket and have them drift over, or I might hyzer flip them to the basket. Um, this is just a proto Luna. And you could kind of see how that just flipped out of the hand. Didn't really want to go as far as the premium plastic ones. That's why I normally just putt with them. So I'm going to throw this next one just on a tad bit of hyzer. Maybe have it flip up a little bit. Try to correct from the last shot. All right. That one I released and it still started to turn over a good bit. So let's see if we can correct on the last two. All right, first run Luna, just baseline again. Really like the plastic, it's really pretty. I like it. I wanna say the, I wanna say the first run Lunas are a touch bit more stable than the baseline ones, just like the regular stock. I'm pretty sure. Oh, actually, we ended up hitting the bottom of the pole. That was pretty cool. It kind of had a slow drift to it all the way. The first two baseline one, the first two Lunas that I threw, um, they kind of flipped right away. But then the first run, I just threw a little bit more left, just flatter, and it kind of just drifted over the entire way. It was kind of like a slow drifting shot. And I hit the pole, so that's cool. Now I got this Luna, this is just a baseline one. I picked this one up at a tournament that I played in and it's got a squirrely on it, so that's cool. Squirrel, but I call it squirrely. I call it my squirrely disc, I throw it in the woods. This one, I'm gonna throw left of the basket, have it drift over, possibly in the basket, we'll see. Wish me luck. Not in the basket, but it was a good shot. I slipped on my foot when I was coming through. I slipped, not slipped, but I messed up my run up, but I still followed through with it and it is parked down there. So that's cool. And I will be moving on to the next hole and seeing what kind of shots we can throw on the next one, just in the woods. All right, guys, I'm just gonna play this one hole that's downhill um, about 150 feet. And I'm gonna try to ace it. And I'll kind of just show you the lines that I'm throwing with the Lunas, kind of straightforward with this video. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you the flight of the Luna if you've never thrown it before. And I'm not doing a putting part of this video because I just want to show you how they fly in the air. Maybe in the future, I will do a putting video of the Lunas and how they putt. I personally putt with them. I think they're pretty nice. And I hope you enjoy these last few shots I throw. Including All right, first off, I'm gonna throw the Proto Luna. This is actually a good hole to throw my baseline Lunas um, because I'm not throwing them as hard, just throwing them kind of light, having them go straight, and they're really good for this, but both of them will work on a hole this short. Starting off with the Proto Luna, basically just gonna release it flat, probably slightly left of the basket, straight at it, slightly left, and hopefully push down there pretty straight. All right, it drifted over a little bit too much for me. I'm just gonna throw another baseline. All 
All right. They're flipping a good bit, so I'm gonna throw them maybe a touch of hyzer. That was a good shot. I like that. Release that one. Touch of hyzer, kind of flat, and it's parked down by the basket. More stable one. This is the first run. Again, these ones have a little bit of stability to them. I'm gonna go kind of straight at it. right off the front cage. That was a really nice shot. Kind of just went straight at it with a first run Luna and I hit the cage. I mean, what can you say? That was a pretty nice shot. I liked it. All right, now getting into the premium plastic putters, um, going with the ESP Luna. These ones I'll release um, either in a tad bit of Anheuser or flat, slightly right of the basket because these do have a little bit of stability. They're not super overstable unless you throw them on a lot of hyzer. Um, but just gonna throw them kind of flat, see what they got. Okay, you could see it was kind of fading a little bit. So it definitely has that stability towards the end. So if you want a good throwing putter that goes straight with a little bit of fade, the Luna is a really good one. All right, this one should be a touch more stable because this one is the Z-Line. Oh, and I released it on Anheuser. That was really bad. All right, that was not really nicely released, but you could see it did land flat. It kind of fall out of the Anheuser. Definitely shanked that one a little bit. I'm gonna go with the crystal. Most of these Lunas, I'm gonna throw basically the same since they are just premium plastic. They're all different plastics, but they throw realistically the same. Like this one is gonna throw pretty much like the previous Luna. A little bit more stable. All right, basically what I did there is I threw that one a little bit nose up. That's all that happened. I just threw it nose up and it was a pretty errant shot. Got the Z metallic. I'm gonna throw this one kind of straight at the basket. All on hyzer. That's not good. Might cut that shot out. That was really not, not good showing how it flies. All right, I have the 2020 Tour Series, which is my favorite. I've actually aced this hole with this disc. That's cool. Yeah, pretty nice. But I'm gonna throw it slightly right of the basket. Nope, straight out, it's tipped. All right, that shot I released way too low. It did skip a little bit and it's under the basket. All right, last shot of the video, I got the Big Z Luna. And if you guys watch my YouTube channel, I posted a couple days ago, maybe a week ago, I don't know, a while back, I got an ace with this one on this hole. So that's cool. See if we can do it again. Not an ace, but I love that flight. And guys, if you don't own a Luna, you need to go get one. My honest opinion of it is it's a 10 out of 10 disc. Um, designed by Paul McBeth. It's in his bag. It's in a lot of good players' bags. It's in just the normal um, skill level players' bag. And I really like it. So go out there, pick yourself up a Luna. 